name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Oh, and Big Dumb. James, Zach, Amanda, question marks? What's going on, everybody? Let's get dumb. Jim, how are you? My hands are cold, my neck is warm, and I look fantastic. Stop with the song lyrics. Good weekend, your baby swam. Uh, Noodle got an atrocious haircut. I'll get a pic of that. Too, 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 too short? He got too much neck. I go neck. on and on. <laughs> it's got service. Can you tell me about the sports? Jim, it's kind of a big part of the sports year. We are just hit the Stanley Cup Finals. Your Rangers lost to my Lightning. Saw them coming back from a mile away. And then my Avalanche are waiting for them from the west side. So this is kind of a win-win for me. And then the NBA Finals is there. My Golden State versus your Boston. Warriors versus Celtics. Two alike things. Ooh, humans, basically. Yeah. And Lightning versus Avalanche. Two alike things. Weather. So it's weather versus weather. Human versus human. Did the Celtics I've ever fight? Fight. Celtics ever fight? Yeah, of course they did. Did they win? Um, hmm. No. Okay. It wasn't until the Celtics became like civilized that they fought Britain and, and kind of did some good. And that's the sports. It was the sports. Who do you want to win the basketball? Three, two, one. Don't Golden care. State. Who do you want to win the hockey? Three, two, one. My Lightning or the Avalanche? Avalanche. We're lined up. I got Jake. Speaking of the weather, I oh. I found Zach's gonna like this. An all time message from you back in like 2015. Oh yeah, Jimmy went through our old uh, G chats. Yes, some good stuff. Motivating stuff. Made me cry a little bit. This one was hilarious. March 13th, 2017. Jake Storielli. Weather just blew my mind. I said, how so? He said, it's just like always happening. Yeah. The world's spinning. Weather from the east goes to Europe, then Asia, then the west coast. It's constant. It's constant. That would kill in a Brooklyn bar. I look like a guy that would deliver that. It would be like the opening <laughs> of my monologue. That's all the sports we can talk about for now. Yeah, uh, that's it. We're out. Let's go to this almost a breakdown. We're going to use this green screen. Jim, there was a couple fans making out and Boston loses and scene. I love a good crowd shot of reactions and we got ourselves a doozy. It is back into the sports world. So I guess we're going to talk oh, more, more sports. sports, more sports. Well, there's not more, more sports. sports. That's a section later in the show. Okay. So Seattle ties it in the ninth inning and they Woo! show this shot of the fans on like a party deck down the third base side. Group of girls laughing and hanging out. We're not sure that they're reacting to the game. They're a little on delay yeah. from the rest of the crowd. Yes. We don't know what that's about, but go on. Two Boston fans consoling each other, yeah. kind of wrapping their heads like, damn, man. Sports. Sports. There's a couple, I don't think they have a fandom, making out. Yes. Just making Big out the time. whole time. And I'm hoping that the guy, they didn't see the play happen and they celebrated by making out because I think that's weird. No, these two I think were sucking face all night. I would be interested to find, we've seen this before, when there's a couple at a sporting event that they found each other and they've started to engage in engagement. Um, that you can use any situation for a out. Like, oh, we got a hit. Ah, la, 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 la. Um, but yeah, you can tell... Everyone around suck face couple, uh, no, no care. reaction. No care. So they've been sucking face all night. This is, the, this is their first day that they've made out. Okay. Otherwise, it's weird. That's how excited they are. That's the sports which we're done talking about. Now, that was but almost a breakdown, and we're going to throw it back to the more sports. Before more sports, here's a video of a mom throwing a cliff bar at her daughter running a marathon. More sports, Jim. This is near and dear to your heart, your Manager Joe Madden got a mohawk to lighten up the Angels. They were on a losing streak. You know, an old guy getting a mohawk. This is funny, right? After he gets the mohawk, before he gets to the stadium, Joe Madden gets fired and doesn't show his team the mohawk he now has. And he got fired. The GM drove to his house and fired him at his house. So he had to open the door with the mohawk. Maybe was like, look what I did for the guys. And yeah. um, cool, 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 cool mohawk. Yeah. But... Um, you are fired. Yeah. I, 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 I think of it as the scene from Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Right. Where Jason Segel's naked. Or the other scene where he's just like, I wish I wasn't wearing this fucking shirt. Right. Joe Mann's like, I wish I didn't have this fucking mohawk right now. Do you think the GM for one second thought like, I can't fire him right now? Yes. But he still went through with it. That's commitment. We look great in our rowback quarter zips, fully zipped up, obviously. I also have a rowback t-shirt on. Show him the dog. 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 You want to put a dog head on my head? 
<laughs> what was this not sports you were telling me about? You said you went to Sweden over the weekend and you saw something that you thought we should talk about. Yeah, Sweden's trying to get their homeless guys to fuck their trash cans. No, that's not what the headline says. That's not what the headline says. What does yours say? Swedish city is taking a risque approach to garbage. Watch these trash cans dirty talk. <laughs> so, basically, Sweden trash cans to get people to throw stuff out. Now, when you open the lid and shut it, it's a woman's voice moaning like, oh, thanks for your trash. Listen to this. Mm, oh, right there, yes. That's what it says in the quotes, because they're speaking Swedish. It doesn't say that. Mm, a bit more to the left next time. That's what it says. Mm -hmm. um, a good idea, but it's not going to do anything. Besides, I think you're just going to see a guy just like lifting and shutting the lid and jerking off. <laughs> the whole time. I think Sweden's developing a problem. I think you're <laughs> developing a problem. I'm less worried about Sweden. What about a guy that's been like attracted to trash cans forever? He just bought a plane ticket to Sweden. I think this turns him off. Oh. Yeah, this is like... Don't bring my inanimate object to life. My trash can don't talk. Mm. Want a break from the ads? Pretty slow. <laughs> Join it. It's, it's the, the employee, employee of the week. week. It's do, 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 the employee do, do. of the week. Do, do, it's do, the do, employee do. of the week. Do, do, do. It's going to Bill. Warehouse Bill. He's been grinding away at our warehouse in Jersey City. Is he City. officially Warehouse Bill? Because he used to be BTS Bill. Uh, I think he'll go back and forth. Right now okay. he's Warehouse Bill. Behind the scenes Bill. Warehouse, warehouse William. Bill. William of the Warehouse. That's cool. Make it a shirt. I like Warehouse Will. Warehouse Willie? Okay, yep. Warehouse Willie. We got something pretty cool going on in our, our warehouse this week. And Fiend. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Roback. Jake and I were wearing the quarter zips. We looked great. You were jealous. You can get those at Roback.com, and you can also get 20% off your first order if you use the code DUMB. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. 20% off your first order on all polos, quarter zips, hoodies, and tees with code DUMB. This story is for Zach only. Amanda can listen to. There's this guy in Milford when we used to live there. We used to go to the same bar every night. And he had a true, like, true mohawk spiked up. And we used to joke that he was the midnight mayor of Milford. And when the clock hit midnight, he became mayor. <laughs> and he kind of did. It was kind of nutty. Jim, you're back. Hypnosis. I can't be hypnotized. <laughs> Two people have tried it. You could be the third. Apply below. Just write in the comments. I will hypnotize. Do you know 99 Luff balloons just means air balloons and they change it to red balloons? Mm. Luff doesn't mean red, it means air. Seen from Scrubs. Where was I?